What's up guys, Scuddy here from the Blue Cooking family and welcome back to another Volts and Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at the particle accelerator and I'm going to be returning back to it because I know I've done this in the past but it's been slightly changed and as of yet nobody really knows how the new one works. Now the old one's very simple, you put the uh, you could do two ways, you can either put down the prefabricated one if you're in creative and let it run or you could build it yourself and guesstimate on how big it was. Some people did tiny um, 4x4 ones, which worked in the old one. Uh, but of course now it's all changed and I don't know what to do and how I do it. So I'm going to quickly run over again how to work it. Uh, remember if you like this video, just, um, remember to subscribe. Also if you think it will help out you or another friend, please remember to share that video, this video to that friend. So the new one, it's not that different as in it still uses the same configuration so it still requires the plus shape of electromagnetics and electro glass so the glass is exactly the same as electromagnets so in theory you could just do the entire thing out of the electro glass but um, it's uh, the only thing that makes it is difference is you can see through the electro glass rather than the electromagnet uh, electromagnetic glass, I should say, rather than electro glass. But yeah, so I my uh, standard configuration is this: is the plus is the plus shape with the glass on the top. Just so you can look over the top into it. I've seen many people who um, they have. Uh, let me just quickly build it. So they have a configuration where it's um, basically electromagnetics everywhere. So that's not that's fine. But another popular one is this one. So that from the side you can see things going through it. That's absolutely fine as well. It's whatever you like it, it's down to you. Now I do see a lot of people uh, doing this sort of thing. So building like a giant, like, I don't know really, um, like a big square, 3x3 three three square. Now that is not necessary. Um, I haven't. I've tested around with this, and it doesn't seem to do much of a difference. Um, you know, it doesn't make it any faster. It doesn't make it any more efficient. Um, you're just wasting these four blocks. What you could use for the next section, really. So if you do that for the entire thing, you have to build two lots of my design to make your one. Okay. So you're being half as efficient. Half. Half the efficiency to make that design than you are with my design. So my design is um, two times more efficient to make. Okay, so the corner people get often get wrong as well. So I see a lot of um, let's just build this up here. So it's like that. Uh, like that. So people seem to think that they have to build like a proper curve, like this. Now I played around with that again. Doesn't seem to do much other than slow it down one, two, three, four, five times. So it's one, two, three, four, five times. Yeah, five times. So because every time a particle hits a corner or hits a, hits an edge, it slows down. So if I'm a particle and coming down here, it's hit, 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 out. So it slows down five times. Whereas my design has one corner, slows it down once, and goes. Now, uh, I'd like to point out, I have tried doing the long straight um, approach, so you build one giant long particle accelerator. Um, I haven't had much success with that. It doesn't really work. Um, I've, I was getting to stupid lengths to get mine to work. Um, but yeah, it, so it has to be a complete circuit uh, is basically what I'm saying. So now let's get on to the circuit. So you've seen how to make the individual bits. Now the circuit here, now I've been playing around, you can already see my first design here used to go across here and was in that square. Now I found that was too small and it was like, hitting about 92, 91% and it just couldn't build up enough speed to get to the next corner. So now I've got this one, which if you want to find out, it is 135 blocks by 38 wide. Okay, that's my design. Um, so you can make it a lot wider. Of course, the bigger it is, the more efficient it will be. Um, but yeah, so on the corner as well, 
So you, any corner, any direction, so it can be there or there, you place the particle accelerator block. Now for some reason um, in Wallia it does show up as error, but a lot of um, blocks in Creative Carp that, I'm not too sure why. So if you right click it, the GUI has changed. Um, so before you used to have a couple boxes and it used to be quite simple to understand this one has got a lot on it and it's really complicated to understand. So where it has energy used, that just kind of tells you how much energy it's used. The two underneath it, I'm not too sure, I haven't seen those change that much. It's this one you need to look at. So this is how much energy it's getting in. Okay, Velocity, that's important. Well, that is how fast the particle is going. When it holds, when it, or when it gets to and sustains 100%, you will gather antimatter. Okay, you get antimatter by uh, placing in um, your item and um, it going to 100% and it producing antimatter. Okay, so I played around with graph blocks and you get five milligrams. Um, per each 100%. So you don't get a lot of antimatter at all. It's actually quite a big process. The other one you need to look at is this one. Status. Idle. So why it's idle is doing nothing. When it's accelerating, obviously, it's accelerating. And then this one underneath, I'm not too sure, with the buffer. Okay. So I'm going to play around with having different blocks. So let's put in a lapis lazuli. Let's get a couple of those. Because you get five milligrams for a grass block, and you get. I'm going to see if you get any difference for any other blocks. So now this also requires a lot of power. I've got it hooked up to a creative energy shell, an energy cell, but uh, you can quite uh, simply hook it up to a big reactor or even another um, huge power source. I've also connected up to a redstone energy conduit from Firm Expansion. Okay. So now you power it by a redstone input, this can be done by a computer graph command, or you can do it by just simply a lever, I'm doing a lever because it's quite easy and simple. So if I flip the lever, it's going to make a lot of loud noise and you'll see the particle coming out of the ears, so please watch your ears because it's quite loud. So as you can see here, you've got the light um, display, now uh, it's the same effect that you would get while um, when you kill the ender dragon. So it's the same light display you get then. Also you'll notice a uh, particle effect coming out the back of it. It's the same one that we use for Enderman. And you get the smoke effect behind it. And as it's going around you can hear the sound starting to pitch up. And you notice it's going a lot faster. So as it gets to the corner, it turns the corner and bounces around. Mine does three laps before it will make antimatter. And there'll be a point of where I am now going full creative speed, and I'm only barely just keeping up with it. Okay, so now it's come around that last corner. I'll go back to the particle box, which is really loud. I'll show you what's showing here. So here you go. You see the velocity going up. So it's currently at 75%, showing that the gigajoules is being used at 72, 73 gigajoules, and you can see the status is accelerating. So you can see that the uh, velocity is now increasing quite rapidly, it's now reaching, reaching the 80 odd mark, and you can see that every time it hits a corner, it goes down, so it wasn't 88, now it, was, now it went down to uh, 86, and now it's going to hit the 90s, so 95, 96, 93, 94, so it hit a corner, corner again, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, but it hits a corner before it sustains, there you go, hits another corner, hit to 100 and you get your antimatter. There we go. So you can see there that I jumped up quite a bit. So for example, on my grass, I was getting 5 milligrams of antimatter using the lapis lazuli block you just saw that I got 6. So it does depend on what block you put in. I haven't played around that much with um, all types of blocks because this mod, pack's ha this mod pack has uh, quite a lot of blocks so it's up to you so I'd love um, to see in the comment section below um, what blocks you've used and see how much you get back from it see which is the most efficient comeback uh, but remember if this has helped you out at all please remember to hit that subscribe button it really does help and share it with a friend so I'll see you guys next time on the next vaults tutorial see you later